What's good on guys, Dale the Artist here. In today's video, we're gonna be going over how to create a walk cycle inside of Blender for your characters. Now, there's a couple things that I wanna mention before we get started. One, um, hopefully everyone has their character ready, he's ready and he's ready to start walking. And if you don't have a character, in the link below will be a link to my uh, YouTube membership or my uh, Patreon where you guys can access this rig and you guys can follow along. And also, uh, before we get started, let's also ensure we have auto keying turned on here on the bottom, as well as let's change the timeline from 250 frames to 24. We're gonna drag this to the left so we can see our 24 frames and go to the left and drag to the right so we can see from frame one. And with that being done, um, we, we can technically start now, but to make this easier for newer animators, we wanna create a plane for the floor. So let's press Shift A, go to Mesh, go to Plane, and we can just press S to upscale this so we can see this a lot easier. Now what I wanna do is select our rig and change the mode from Object to pose mode. Now what I want to do is start from frame one, which is going to be our contact pose. So we're going to start with either of our foot left or right, doesn't really matter. Um, we're going to grab that foot control and we're going to just move it forward. So it's extended. And we're going to rotate it. So our foot points towards the sky and the heel makes contact with the ground. So if need be, we can just, you know, move it a little bit more. Grab that left foot, and we're gonna bring that back. And grab that foot roll control, or ankle and we want to bend it so we get that nice heel off the ground. But it's still making contact. And you want to make this look as natural as possible for your characters. So we want to have this right arm here going back. So let's grab this hand control here. Bring this back here. Grab this hand control. I'm just gonna move this to the front. And we can bring it closer to the body. And if we want, we can rotate the hips to get a little bit more realism to this. Not too much, so it doesn't look too feminine. And what I want to do is lean this body uh, forward a little bit. We have something like this. The head, we can rotate, um, lean forward a little bit, as well as bring the body. So grab that global control for the hips and just bring it down slightly. Nice bend. So with that being pushed down, we may have to move the leg a little bit more here. And I'm gonna leave the foot here. I don't want it to go too far back so it looks unnatural. And once we're satisfied with this, we can press A to select all the keyframes and hold down control. And I just wanna deselect this global control here. With that being done, we can press I which is the high key to create a keyframe, and we want a keyframe location and rotation. Let's go to frame 24 by selecting this arrow here, or you can just drag here on the timeline till we get to frame 24, and we can press I once again to keyframe the location and rotation. Now let's go back to frame um, one, and what I want to do is go to pose here at the top, and I want to copy pose, And I want to go to frame 12 
and then I want to go back to pose and then go to paste pose flipped. So what that did was just flip our pose from the front to the opposite side. So you guys can see we have something going on here. So if you press play, this is what we have so far. So you can see we have some animation going on. Now what I want to do is go to frame three and start working on our down pose. Down pose, the character's at his lowest point, so we'll grab this um, control here for the body, bring it down. Grab this leg, foot control. It's going to be flat on the plane. I'm going to move it back. Grab the left foot control. I'm going to rotate this to be back here. Let's grab that foot control here, the football. And then we're going to press Alt. R to reset rotation. We can tilt this, or um, sorry, go back to the foot and we can rotate this this way. And what we want is our toe to just be touching the surface, make that contact. We're gonna grab the hand control for the right arm, bring it back a little bit more. And we can rotate it a little bit to get some, some slight movement there. Grab the left hand control. Rotate it a bit more. And we can bring this forward. Now I'm pressing G, the hotkey G. Or you could just use the move tool here to move. And I don't want this to go out too far, so I'm going to bring it back. I don't want the character's arms to go too far back where it looks unnatural. I want to rotate the torso. Where are you at? Here we are. Bring this back a little bit more. And we can make the the head look up and straight. We got a, a slight tilt more with the hips. And once we're satisfied, we can press A, deselect the global control, press I, to keyframe location and rotation, I'm going to go up to pose, copy pose, go to frame 15, pose, paste, pose, flipped. That looks good. Now let's press play and see what we have so far. So you see, we, it's starting to get a little bit better. We have something going on. Now we're going to move forward to frame six, which will be our passing pose. So we're going to grab this control here and we're going to raise it up. You still want to have a slight bend. You, want, you don't want it to be 100% straight. It's going to look weird. So bring it up. Slide the right foot back. We go to this foot control here, ankle ball, and we can just press Alt R to reset the rotation of that. And with this foot that's passing the left foot, what we can do is rotate this a bit more, get rid of any rotation that it may have on this ankle. And if there isn't any, we can just press G. 
and have it like this. It needs to be off the ground now. Your foot is no longer touching, making contact with the surface. You can grab this hand control here and move it closer to the body. So somewhere around here. And if you want, we can rotate this hand, get a little bit more life into it. Grab the left hand control, move that close to the body. Go to the upper torso area. And this is pretty good. I'll leave that as it is. Rotate the head a little bit. Do you see a little bit more straightforward? Press it. once we're satisfied. This looks good. Um, actually, we can move this a little bit more uh, forward. Once we're satisfied, press A to select all. Deselect the global control. Press I. Keyframe location and rotation. Go to pose. Copy pose. Go from frame six to frame 18. Go to pose. Paste pose flipped. That looks good. We can press play to see what we have. It's looking a lot, a lot better. Now let's go to frame nine and we're gonna work on the up pose. So I'm gonna go to this ankle rotation here and bend this like this. And this is the up pose. The character is at its tallest peak at this point, a little bit taller than the passing pose. Grab that foot control. Leading it back this way. Bring this up. We have this foot control here, the left foot. Okay, bring it forward, rotate it. Bring this hand control for the right arm forward. And rotate it a little bit. Have the hand control for the left arm. Bring it up like this. We can rotate it if need be. Looks good. Of this torso, and we can actually rotate it slightly. As well as lean it forward. Let's bring this head down slightly. And this looks good. I think I'm satisfied with this. So what I can do is press A to select all, deselect, the global control, press I, create a keyframe for location and rotation. We can go to pose, copy pose, go to frame 21, pose, paste pose flipped. All right, guys, I think we're at a pretty good place to uh, end this tutorial. We did a basic walk cycle. Let's go back to frame one. Let's go from pose mode to object mode and let's toggle off our overlays here at the top and press play and see what we have. This looks pretty good for a basic walk cycle. Let's turn around and see the rear. And you see by adding those hip rotation, we have a bit of a sassy walk, which looks good. Not too feminine, but definitely has some characteristics of a stylized walk cycle. Now, um, we can always fine tune this walk by going into the graph editor and the dope sheet and adjusting some of the keyframes and spreading those out so it looks a little bit more natural. 
but that's a little bit beyond this basic tutorial. And if you guys liked the video so far, give it a thumbs up, comment, let me know that you guys learned something. And if you did, please give the video a share. Check out this rig in the description below and I'll catch you in the next one.